here spreading some lime today. So this is the lime that we got from the ball field in town. We got it off the field and we just hauled it out and put it on piles on fields where we want to spread it. And it weather's still holding in there decent, it's not freezing up too bad yet, so we're getting a little bit hauled here today. So this field we're gonna put it into alfalfa next year. Let's see how that goes. It's really a goofy shaped field. There's a pond in the middle, there's a deer stand. So yeah, it's been corn the last few years. We're gonna try alfalfa in here. So I'll get this lime spread and save us one day of work next spring to do. And it'd be nice if we can get this alfalfa planted a little sooner next spring. Hopefully catch some rains on it because it's some really, really sandy ground. We get that good stand going. Hopefully it's a nice hay field for a bunch of years for us. As long as we keep the gophers down, that's our biggest issue out here. They are bad little buggers. November 22nd. And uh, so yesterday we, we had a pile of lime out here. We spread on this field that we're gonna turn into a hay field next year. So we're just gonna dig it in lately. Probably doesn't necessarily need to get done, but the digger was hooked up. And uh, out of that lime, it seems like it, when it dries out, the wind picks up, it almost turns to dust and blows it away. So we're just gonna kinda turn the dirt over a bit, get it in the ground. So it can start doing its thing. Yeah, so nothing real crazy. But we'll do some digging. All right, so I'm up in this deer stand. It's in the middle of this field. It's gonna give you a little bird's eye view of it. So at the east end here, it's kind of a lower part. It's kind of the better part of the field. And over there, there's a pond. Then way back there's where we came in. It kind of narrows down. We got this deer stand in the middle here. A very unique shaped field as you can see it is totally surrounded by trees this is a very high deer area so this field doesn't stand much of a chance it's kind of a glorified food plot so that's why we're gonna put hay in here this next is coming here it's been corn and uh, the deer just destroyed it doesn't really even get a chance to mature to get the tassel or nothing hardly so we're hoping hay you know, hay keeps growing you cut it it keeps coming so we're hoping to have hay in here it can actually be some sort of feed i thought i saw a deer but i didn't yeah it's kind of it i think this field is like 10 acres or something everyone it is the day after Thanksgiving and we are going to find our Christmas tree um, so this will be our seventh Christmas that Travis has done his Christmas tradition so the first year we ever lived together we had bought a house in November uh, no September and then we got married in November and our first Christmas tree Travis brought home something that looked like this And now every year since then, we get one of these terribly ugly Christmas trees. The convenient part is now that we have kids, they actually like they can't even touch the branches. 
So they leave all of the ornaments alone. Is that the one, Tucker? So for those of you that are non-hunters, it's a it's a buck rub, which is why Travis gets so much joy out of it. Um, so a buck rubbed up on that tree um, and created that buck rub on the bottom. So we always use that as a Christmas tree. We find one out in our woods and then we put Christmas lights all up it and decorate it. And it's honestly, it's terribly hideous, but it's become a tradition and everybody thinks it's really cool. We usually host Christmas as well. Um, at least kind of the smaller version of Trav's side of the family. So they always think it's pretty cool. They all come over. Um, the whole call side is pretty active hunters. So it, they all seem to get a kick out of it. So we are gonna walk around the woods for a little bit. What? You don't wanna step on those? A gopher mounds? So we are gonna walk around and see if we can find a buck rub tree. What about this one? Stuck. What about this one? Sure can be it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's a buck rub. What do you think of that one? Not very well. Not very well. Buck rubs. We don't want buck rubs. Are you just gonna leave us here? I'm going over there. Travis picked this one. Nice buck rub. Branches don't start till well above my head. So the kids will leave it alone. What do you think? I think the first one I can help us climb. Yeah. Think this one's gonna do? Okay, we'll look for a little bit and we'll come back to this one. What? Well, we'll see if we can find a taller one. Just kidding. It might not be the one. We're going to keep looking. All right, we just walked a big loop. Didn't find anything. Found a couple cool trees, but not with... They were rubbed, but only a little bit, not enough. So Travis didn't like them. So we're going back to the second buck rub tree that we found. We're gonna cut that one down and bring it home and decorate it. Coming to help? Yay! I wanted the second tree when we were over there. Mom, I told you where that so we landed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wanna help dad cut it down? Dad! Okay, go. Ready, Tucker? Can you hold it? Yeah. Timber. <laughs> supposed to hold it. Hey, you didn't hold it so good. I did hold it, but... Look at that beauty. Good job, Tucker. What if someone, what if someone found this and they want it too? Then what will happen? We don't have a ton of traditions, but this is probably the one Travis is the most proud of. What? Save us a hundred bucks. He was annoyed with me when he came in from chores this morning. I had all of the Christmas totes out and I was decorating. He's like, it's not even December yet. Why are you decorating? And I just love Christmas, so I wanted to decorate. It was a matter of, I don't know, two or three hours later. And he was asking me to go out and pick the Christmas tree. So it didn't take him long to get with the Christmas spirit. Ooh, that's nice.
can't lose this prize cargo. What do you say? That ain't going anywhere. No, it's not gonna fall out. Well.